Hey everybody, this is Captain Horf, and this is episode 3 of Blood Magic and Witchery. Uh, I was going to call it Dark Sorcery, but then I realized that was a dumb name. And uh, so now I'm just going to call it Blood Magic and Witchery. Hopefully it'll help people find it uh, if they're looking for content regarding these mods. So, our Rowan Tree finally growed up. So, uh, which makes me happy, because this is the wood I need, so let's go ahead and cut this guy down. Alright, collect the saplings. Now we're going to need to plant more of these witchery trees, but uh, I'll eat some melons. Right. Uh, just having a few melon vines has given me... I've actually never really used melons that much, but... Boy, it sure gives me a pretty steady supply of food. Although, you know, each one takes... It takes a while to get your hunger up because... Gosh, <laughs> it's one per... But anyway, we've got lots of this glint weed now. It's just growing everywhere. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this altar that I've looked at the recipe for about a dozen times. But, uh, we need Breath of the Goddess, Exhale of the Horned One, some water bottles. Water bottles, we should be able to grab this and... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, each one gives us three, so... I think that'll be plenty, right? It's only one per... So let's uh let me put some of this away. Plants gonna gonna go in here for now. Uh, that actually goes in the barrel. And that should be enough to grab to get the water bottles. Yeah, let's go fill these with water and then let's go ahead and make this altar. And for now I guess I'll throw it out here. Um I really haven't decided where I'm gonna in a lot of ways, I haven't decided how I'm going to lay out my home, if this is going to be my home. I have a feeling this is going to be more of a temporary mining base, or just a place to come back to when I want to mine. That being said, we are going to stick around here for quite a while, um, or at least a little while. Where did I put... I think I put them in here. Yeah. We got Exhale the Horned Ones. We only have one Breath of the Goddess, so... Do we happen to get any more birch saplings? No, I thought we had more of that stuff. Huh, do we got more birch growing? Oh yeah, let's chop down some of these boys and get us uh, a few more birch saplings. We'll cook them down and get the breath of the goddess we need. Now, my goal for today is to get a distillery... Uh, and uh, collect a few slime balls. I need slime balls for a couple of the builds that I want to make. And, uh, of course, to get the distillery, we need an altar. Because the distillery basically draws its power from the altar. So we have a bit of work. We have a little bit of work ahead of us. I'm hoping by the end of the episode, we can have the rest of the basic witchery infrastructure. And then probably we're going to move on to blood magic. That's my goal, anyway. Uh, my goals have a a way of kind of getting pushed ahead or pushed backwards by other various things that I decide I need to work on. But uh, I'm going to try to stay focused and get us to the point where we want to be. So I'm going to take some of these trees, these birch saplings. These make Breath of the Goddess occasionally when you cook them. So I'm basically just going to wait till I get one more. And uh, in the meantime, we can just toss some more seeds in here, toss the bone meal in here. I'm going to keep the bed on me. Dirt goes in here. And then, uh, let's see, rowan wood. need to hold on to this rowan wood. But birch wood can go in here. And sweet, I did get a breath of the goddess. And another one. All right, that's enough for now. Throw the rest of these in here because I probably need to plant some more. And without further ado, let's go ahead and make these altar blocks that we need. What am I missing? Uh, rowan wood. Oh, stone blocks. Yikes. All right, so... I think I'm going to need to cook 16 of these. No problem, no problem. Put eight in each one. And I'm trying, since I have all this extra wood now, I'm trying to make a bit of charcoal. And then uh, just keep all these guys full. So I'm just going to keep an eye on things, let these cook up, we'll get the stone blocks we need. Uh, one, two, three, four, we're going to need eight. Um, 
Yeah, I'm only going to need eight, but I might as well make some more. So once these are both done making four, we can pop them out and make our stone blocks. I'll just shut the door from now because it's a good habit. And four. All right, so... Da -da -da, eight. And that should be enough to... Okay, what am I missing now? Breath of the God... All right, I guess let's just do it manually. One, two, one, two... One, two, two, two. Sometimes uh, NEI has trouble with this. Okay. Honestly, what am I doing wrong? Let's see. Water bottle. Exhale the horned one. Breath of the goddess. Stone bricks. Stone bricks. Rowan wood. It seems like I got everything I need. Um, water bottle. Exhale the horned one. Breath of the goddess. What am I doing wrong? Okay, it worked that time. I don't know. Maybe it just didn't like me stacking them. I don't know. Uh, when I go back and review this, I'll probably find I put the potion bottles in the wrong... Or the fume bottles, whatever you want to call these. I probably put them in the wrong spots. Anywho, I've got some altar blocks. Let's go place this outside somewhere. I'm thinking maybe between these two altar... Between these two farms. I think farmland counts towards... Uh, basically as being beneficial plants. I'm going to try putting it right here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, not very much. 988 is not a huge amount. But uh, we're going to do what we can to kind of beef that up. Uh, I'm going to put a little more dirt around it. And then I'm going to go grab some flowers and just see. If I slam some flowers around it, those trees are definitely helping. If I slam some flowers around it and then I put some... Uh, three, four. And then I put some witchery trees nearby. Hopefully that'll help boost it up a bit. I think I might need to move it somewhere else, but I really have to think about where I want to put it. Anyway, for now, let's just go ahead and uh, I'll grab like four of each. And we'll go ahead and just place these around a bit. Uh, I want to chop down these spruce trees. I'd rather have the witchery trees. I think they're more beneficial. I could be wrong about crops helping. They might not help. The, this altar just wants as much natural stuff around it as possible. The other thought is it might need a more natural favoring, nature favoring biome like the jungle. The jungle is just teeming with life. So it might be the best place to build an altar and ultimately might be the best place to live as a witch. So I'll just keep that in mind. Damn it. Just uh pop up a couple blocks and alright let's just throw a mix of trees around here like here uh, here hawthorn can go here uh, put another hawthorn here here and here I think some of these are close. Let's make one a little bit closer. Then I'm going to go in and rest, and uh, we'll let these trees grow up, and then we'll see. The other thing I'll do is I'll take some of that Spanish moss and put it nearby, or put it on the trees. Uh, that stuff tends to spread on its own and helps quite a bit with the calculation. So let me rest for a minute. The other thing I can do, since I have a bit of gold, I found this is helpful. We could make... A chalice. Chalice requires a tune stone, some gold nuggets, gold ingots. Tune stone is not that bad. It's a whiff of magic, a diamond, and a lava bucket. I have about five diamonds, so uh, what we're going to need to do is cook some of these rowan saplings. Throw a couple in here. I think we have a few more. I kind of have to balance cooking the. I just want one. Maybe I'll just get. I'm hoping I'll just get lucky. Hey, there we go. Luck. Luck, luck, luck. Okay, so uh, let's go. What else do we need for the chalice? Uh, we're going to need a lava bucket. Hmm. So I have a bucket. And I know at least one. You know what? There's lava down here. Uh, 
Well, anyway, I'm going to run down to the bottom of the stairs. There's a lava pool uh, down near layer 11. I know where it is. So I'm going to go get to that and get a lava bucket. Hey there, we're back, and we've got a bucket of lava, a diamond, and a whiff of magic, which makes an attuned stone. These are actually used as sort of a alter power battery, but they are also used as uh, ingredients in several crafting recipes, this being one of them. So I'm going to make some gold nuggets. We got gold nuggets, gold ingots, a tombstone. That's a chalice. And while I'm at it, I'm going to grab some random uh, flowers. I'll just put these in here for now. Actually, this should go. Oh, I actually have a spot for rowan wood. I'm trying to keep all my woods together. I've got 39 of these. Uh, you might have watched me during other episodes just kind of randomly grabbing these. Uh, there's also uh, the peonies, which I believe are a bit bigger. Uh, rotten flesh can go in here. Kind of keeping my witchery stuff in here for now until I make more space and more storage. Uh, and again, I reserve the right to kind of change up the way I'm storing things. So none of these trees have grown yet, which doesn't surprise me because we just kind of went down there. But uh, we have 788. We actually have even less than before. Maybe because I cut a tree down? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's throw this down. Uh, that just pretty much doubled our altar power, which is great. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put a bunch of flowers around this. Oops. Start with a ring of red flowers, and then uh, I'm going to put the peonies out here. Um, here. Oops. That's what I meant to do. And then basically we're just going to make this place look... Not only pretty with all the flowers, but also uh, quite powerful uh, thanks to the influence that witchery has over all this natural abundance. So, something like that. Let's see what we're at now. We're actually up to 1820 already, which is quite a bit better than we were. And then just throw some of these white flowers up here. 1860. So I think once these trees grow up, we should be well on our way to a more powerful altar. Um, anyway, I think that's enough to get started with some of the things we want to do. Um, what else do we want to do? Uh, so I think we want to make a distillery. A distillery is going to take another one of those attuned stones, so I should, uh, I should have gotten two lava buckets, actually, when I tucked down to the underground part of the map. But that's okay. I'm going to go grab another one. Another thing I'm going to do is grab some of that Spanish moss. And uh, let me do that right now. I have a couple pieces of Spanish moss, which I will just uh, start putting on some of these trees. And I'm going to use, actually, I have a little bit of bone meal I'm going to use to try to see if I can influence one of these trees to grow. So we'll take the bone meal and we'll take uh, Spanish moss. And let's see. Get back over here. See if we can get this uh, alder to grow. Yeah, or rowan to grow, I mean. And the hawthorn, okay. So this rowan wood, we will just throw one of these on there. And then we'll save the other one for the next tree that grows. And then this should spread. It actually usually spreads pretty prolifically. Uh, one other thing I like about this mod is all the stuff in the... Okay, that was actually, wow, now we're up to 2300. So if that, this gave us about... I want to say about 500. That can't be. That's so much. Maybe maybe that is the case, though. So if I do that with a few more of these plants, uh, once these other trees grow, I should actually have a pretty reasonable amount of altar power. That's great. All right, the altar is starting to look good already. 2,300. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make another attune stone, and then I'm going to set up a distillery up here. And there's actually a couple other recipes I want to look at, so we might as well look at them now. Uh, I need an attune stone for the kettle. That's going to be my third diamond. Yikes. And then a spinning wheel. That'll be my fourth diamond. Uh, and you know what? I don't know if I have enough. Oh, I have enough leather to do these. So uh, some wood, sticks, wool, uh, item frames. I'm going to get all the stuff I need to make the rest of my witchery set up. And then I'll be right back once again. So... Bear with me, I will see you, and by the time I get back, hopefully some more of these trees have grown. We'll see where our altar ends up at that point. 
So as I'm uh, going through and doing various stuff, uh, this, this is plant weed just grows out of control. It's like crazy how much this grows. I'm trying to knock off some of these glint weeds and then just kind of placing them at various spots. As you can see, my whole area, this whole area around my base is pretty well lit up at this point. Uh, and I'm just going to keep spreading it out further and further. Well, I can't really put it on rock, but um, just kind of doing this whenever I can. And I do need more of these uh, rowan saplings. So, okay, what was that? There he is. See that guy right there? That guy is, that is one pissed off tree. Oh my god, and here he comes. He's coming for me. And, oh my god, I can't run. Oh, I didn't, I didn't look at my food. Alright, well, this guy is way stronger than me, so I'm gonna have to cheese him. So, come and get me, dumbass. Yeah. This is an ant. Ants, uh, spawn when you cut down witchery trees. Uh, I was expecting to see one a long time before now. I'm gonna kill him with a stone sword, because I'm... Cheesy! And I'm just gonna hit, hide here where he can't hurt me. And bash him until he's dead. But trust me when I say those guys pack a wallop. They hurt. And he dropped an ant twig. That's great. I'll be using that later. Um, I'm just gonna go uh, sleep it off now. So, whenever you're cutting down witchery trees, you definitely want to look for that little puff of smoke. So I've been reviewing uh, how many diamonds and other things I have and some of the stuff like the kettle and the spinning wheel. When I'm actually going to be able to use that and I've decided I'm only going to make two attuned stones. I'm going to use one to make this distillery so it's gold, iron, clay jar, and an attuned stone. You saw me make the attuned stone already so I'm just going to make this bad boy. And then the other thing I'm going to make is uh, a candelabra and that is iron, attuned stone, and some torches. We're going to make that guy as well. And I just feel like right now, this is the most useful stuff that can actually get me some bang for my buck. While also, oh, it looks like more of these trees grew. That's great. So right now our altar's at about, yeah, 2476. I'm going to throw this candelabra down on it. And it didn't really give us any more altar power, but it did increase how fast it regenerates. So that's also important. Uh, we don't want to not, we don't have to sit and wait forever for this altar to regenerate. Uh, so, okay, moving on. Another thing that would be nice is if we could get a mob head to put on it, but, uh, to do that, uh, there's something we're probably going to want to ma have to make, and then, you know, we're not going to get a lot of mobs out near our base because of this glint weed. So I might have to go sally forth a bit, or at least, uh, do some exploring underground, do some caving. We're going to have to go to the mobs, I think, instead of having the mobs come to us. In any case, I'm going to put down this distillery. Pop this guy. And distillery. Okay, so we're going to need some jars for it. And then uh, I basically just want to get some slime balls. So uh, one thing I'm gonna know, I know I'm going to need a lot of in the not-too-distant future is gypsum. So gypsum is quicklime and foul fume. Foul fume is easy to get a lot of just by burning wood for charcoal in a witch's oven. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, we're going to, and then quicklime is just, uh, the, you'll notice when we burn stuff in the witch's oven, we get wood ash, we can turn it into quicklime. So let me run over here. We're going to make a little gypsum and get some slime balls in the process. I'm really mainly doing this for the slime balls, but uh, we're going to need this, uh, we're going to need this stuff anyway at some point, so... I threw some wood ash. Yeah, here it is. So I'm just going to do like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then what was the other thing they wanted? Uh, foul fumes. And let's go ahead and... we got lots of oak wood. I'll take a stack of oak wood. And why don't you cook up some of that? Cook up some of that. Oh, I got four whiffs of magic. That's nice. Whiff of magic something you need a lot of. So let's go ahead and, uh, while that's cooking up, we'll take this foul fume and we'll take some of this uh, gypsum, or quicklime here, and let's go throw it in the altar and make some gypsum. Now the dis distillery is powered by the altar, so it's got to be close enough to actually use the altar's power. i got to throw some clay jars in here as well, and no, that's not what we want. We want the quicklime. This should, okay, great. So this is now cooking up. 
Uh, it's distilling all of this stuff, and we're going to start getting some slime balls as well as uh, stuff I know we're going to need later. So I think if you look at this, it is, it's using altar power, I believe, but we're refilling faster than this thing is using it, so that's great. So I'm just going to let this cook up, and we'll get uh, get some of the slime ball. This should result in four slime balls when we're all said and done, which is, I think, going to be enough for what I want to do. Although, to be honest, I don't know whether or not I'm going to have time to do it this episode yet. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'll be back when this is all done cooking up and we got the slime. Hey, all. So I went mining again, found uh, quite a bit of ore. And uh, actually I had a good run, and now there's just a couple of things I want to make uh, in preparation for the next episode. So I know I'm going to need an emerald for one of these. Luckily I had a couple. I'm going to make an Arthana, which is sort of a weapon that's used to, to get drops, uh, certain witchery drops. Uh, you can get them anyway, like I got a couple wool of bats, but you get a lot more when you use Arthana. So, what was the recipe again? It's one... Two nuggets and a stick. And the other thing I that uh, with all the mine, the other thing I want to do with all the mining and other stuff that I've been doing is uh, I am now pretty darn close to 30 levels. So I think it's time. It's going to involve moving these a little bit. It's time to make an enchanting room. So what I'm going to do is basically we're going to keep it simple. Because, again, I don't know that this is going to be a permanent home. I don't know. I just don't know. i have to think about it between episodes. But what I'm going to do is carve out a little room here. Or I can slam down some books. So for an enchanting room, we need like a 5x5, five five, I think, at least. Uh, and I want to do 7x7 seven seven so that so we have a little, little perimeter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, and that's the outside. So we don't want to go that far. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Whoops. So we're just going to carve out this room, and then I have been making lots of uh, sugar. I should be able to make a bookshelf. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and we just need to do the same thing. Don't mind my cat; he's a little excitable because it's kind of late right now, and it's his time to prance around the house and act the fool. Three, four, five. Howl at the moon, if you will. Six, seven. I think this is seven. So I'm just gonna cut the rest of this room, cut through the rest of this room, throw down some torches while I'm at it, and then we'll see, I think that's big enough, yep, alright, so we'll just finish uh, carving this out, and then I'm going to see how many bookshelves I can make, i got a lot of wood, I've got a lot of sugar cane, I should be able to make all the bookshelves we need, we're going to need 15 bookshelves, and I actually like to make 16 just for uh, for symmetry's sake, if you will. I'm just that kind of person. I may not make the most beautiful houses, etc., but I'm a sucker for symmetry. So. Um, did we miss one layer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 7. Alright, so let's make... Let's get that diamond. We're gonna make an enchanting table. God, that rain. Um, we need two di- oh, we're gonna need some obsidian. Well, let's make the bookshelves anyway. Uh, I'm gonna need obsidian for the next episode, anyhow. 
Uh, another thing, now that this iron's done, I'm gonna need a little protection here coming up very shortly, so uh, no armor right now. I think it's time to armor up. As usual, I skip leather because leather sucks and I need the leather for other stuff besides armor. And not really down with a cow farm just yet, so full set. I now am Mr. Tin Can. Throw the rest in here, plus some of this other stuff I got. That's actually just regular charcoal. Guess I should throw that in there. And, alright, let's make some bookshelves. So, I'm just going to grab like a stack of wood for right now. And we'll just take half and a quarter. That makes a stack of that. I'm going to need the I'm going to need the leather for books, so... That's one thing to hold the le onto the leather for. Grab a stack of sugar cane and grab that leather. I have 15 leather just from random cows I've killed. Books. Let's see how many books we can make. 15 books. That's not going to be enough. Um. Wow, I was woefully underprepared for the amount of books I'm going to need. But we can get started anyway. Um, yeah, we're going to need more leather. Let's make as many bookshelves as we can, though. Might as well, since we started. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm just going to go... And... Alright. So that's five bookshelves. One thing I might try to do is just find a... Three, four, five... That means that the... Let's imagine... So, if I have books here, 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 here... That means the enchanting table would be right here. And books two, three, four. It'd be like that. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it'd probably be more like Yeah, let's lay it out like this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Something like that. Yep, so let's put down the five bookshelves that we do have. So one, one, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five. We're going to have to finish that out, get the second row down. We'll get that enchanting table down there. So I guess what I should probably do at this point make a little obsidian. Uh, I'm going to need to make obsidian between this episode and next one. Uh, I've got some lava down here, uh, which I will use to make the obsidian. And I'll probably go kill some more cows. I might start that cow farm. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to do, but we're going to have to do it next episode because we're pretty much out of time for this one. So, thanks all for coming by. I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, go ahead and stay tuned for uh, next episode when it comes out. And we're going to get some obsidian. We're going to make that enchanting table. Finish the bookshelves we need. And then uh, we're going to need obsidian for something else. I think you know what that something else is. We are going to have to finally go to the nether. Uh, I need netherrack at the very least for t to actually put fires underneath my kettles and cauldrons and such. I'm going to need glowstone for quite a few things. So uh, that's really what I made this armor for. I'm just gearing up to get ready for the nether. So until next time when we do take on the nether, I will... I will... Uh <laughs> okay, let me try this again. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the flip side when we go to the nether. Take it easy.